play. It's Tuesday, July 23rd. Good evening. I'm Dave Morris. We'll take a look at some of the stories you can find in upcoming editions of The Oklahoman, including a run dedicated to raise money for tornado victims, a big concert down at the arena tonight. We'll even talk about rural broadband. But first, more details on the plane crash that killed OSU women's basketball coach Kurt Budke, and joining us to tell us more about these stories, the Oklahoman's Nick Tragakis. Thanks for your time today. Yeah. Let's start with that OSU plane crash. Uh, new information or updated information. Yeah, we, we started um, looking into the, uh, the plane crash story a little bit more when we found out a couple weeks ago about a lawsuit that had been filed in Kay County. Uh, Kurt Budke's wife had sued the estate of the uh, pilots that were flying the plane that the basketball coach died in. Um, kind of started looking for some additional details that we could find there. And something we found out is that uh, Shelly Budke and the coach's children have received some money from the uh, state's workers' compensa compensation system. Um, Shelly Budke received $100,000. The children received $50,000. This is actually kind of notable because the, uh, the amounts that you get now for workers' compensation death benefits are significantly higher. Um, several years ago, it, it was only in like the $10,000 range. So that, that number has really bumped up quite a bit. And of course, it will come you know, as, a, as a big boost to the family there. Uh, and this is a story that um, you know, we're going to continue to look for more of these details and more of the court documents that are involved with it. And as you can see on the graphic on your screen, it's a story our Nolan Clay is working on. Uh, something else, a finished network, the Oklahoma Community Anchor Network. We were, we were joking that the kids would call this OCAN. <laughs> what is OCAN? It is a, uh, a multi-year project. Um, uh, it goes back several years, and it's run by the uh, Regents for Higher Education in the state. And the plan was essentially to get high-speed internet out to parts of the state that just don't have the infrastructure and don't have the means to get it. It's been utilizing uh, federal grants and other sources of money, and the regents announced today that uh, the network is now complete. Uh, we'll have a uh, detailed map in the newspaper and on News OK to kind of show the communities that, uh, that will now get this high-speed broadband that they've been lacking. All right, one other story to tell you about before we get to the concert tonight. There's a run dedicated to raising money for the families of kids who died in the May 20th tornado. Our Matt Patterson's working on this story. Yeah, there, a, a group of local residents, um, not long after the May 20 tornado that devastated Moore, decided, you know, what can we do to help? And they happened to be running enthusiasts. So they put together a 5K run for charity now to help specifically the families of the uh, students that died in the May 20 tornado. It's going to be August 17th at Early Wine Park. Okay. Uh, 5K and also a, a fun run. And if you're into the kind of running scene, you know that those, they usually partner those kind of events together. Uh, you can go to the newspaper, newsok.com, to get information about how to sign up. Very cool. And I know a lot of people will be at Chesapeake Energy Arena tonight, fans of the Flaming Lips and Kings of Leon for, speaking of benefits, there's another benefit concert. Yep. This is uh, the answer to the earlier country music concert. <laughs> now we get the rock concert for people who, who uh, want to slide more to that side of the musical wheel. Um, uh, you know, of course, you said Flaming Lips and Kings of Leon, some of our most prominent uh, Oklahoma rock bands, mm -hmm. hopefully lighting the stage up tonight and raising a bunch of money for tornado relief. Outstanding. All right, Nick, we appreciate your time today. And again, you can find these stories and more in upcoming editions of The Oklahoma and online at newsok.com. Have a great evening, everybody.